All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now P. Ryan. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard and it leads to a third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. All right, now, lock it 56. Lock it. Out of the gun, it's Young. Airing this one out for Evans. And got his man complete. That one goes for 36 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold right, down man, their like production, but like I would six. dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Evans has it left side. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of two, now third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. Third and long for Young. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And yeah, just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, their quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright, and this will remain a scoreless game. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Back home, it's the first carry for the former Georgia Bulldog, Gurley. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. 
And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And now running right through it. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. And here now come the Falcons. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and ten. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Ah! On second down, young again. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now here's Young. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And this passing game, this whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And now out come the Jags. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? This is Williams. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Play action. Now it's Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Anderson Griffin in there to sack him for a loss of six. Second down, here's Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and it's third down. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down, then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Young under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. I know there would be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The Falcons on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. From the shotgun, it's Young. He's got Evans. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A very solid gain of 27. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, right, now, and that makes it a really look tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Right. Young on first down. And right side caught Hogan. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Young off the play fake. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. It'll be Young again. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top.
They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. They only need a yard here. Third down and one after the penalty. Back there, you got Philly. Here we go. All right, here we go. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I am guarantee you it started in the offseason third down's important to them, they find a way to pick them up at a very good clip. Here's Allen on first and ten. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. This is caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A big play there. His first touchdown of the year. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Detroit, the last play Detroit. got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Second down, Young. Steps away. The throw left side complete to Hogan. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Frank Clark getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. Young. Flush to his right. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Young on third down. Flushed out right. Airing this one out for Evans. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. Start out on the ground with Gurley. 
Todd Gurley wave goodbye. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. They go play action here on first down. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Artie Burns. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Young to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Throwing. Young. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. Throwing on second down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's the sack master, Justin Houston, who comes up with it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. On second down, they run with Stewart. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a 10-yard pickup and it moves the chains. First down now, but that clock gun, rolling. Gun. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off. Because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. And Josh Hill has it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The first down throw for Young. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just not been there this afternoon. Here's Young from the shotgun. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Excellent work that time to get free, and for his exploits, he's going to be left with just a third and three. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Young working out of the gun. Over the middle to Evans. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Young to throw it. Airing this one out for Evans. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. 
And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Mike Evans, his first touchdown on the year. And the Falcons are in for six. Goskowski with the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Thirty seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and ten. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. down and they're going to throw with Allen. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. in for six so they're able to capture the lead here Jim. before halftime and not only that they get the ball to start the second yeah, half that's right this is almost like basketball down the stretch right where you get the two for one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one in this situation they got the touchdown they'll get another shot at to start the second half it could be a big turnaround boswell good with the extra point and the lead is now 14 to 10. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Yeah. 
So out come the Falcons now. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. First down, Young. He's going to lock one deep left side here. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A final shot before half for Allen. He's going to lock one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Jaguars out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show him one thing, hit him with something else. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Detroit! Detroit! Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Allen looks to throw on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now it's good. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there for Jacksonville, and a first down as well. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a run. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. And that particular play just came from the outside. Detroit! Detroit! Go on, go on! Go on, go on! On second down, here's Allen. And he's going to go down again. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now he'll throw deep left side. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed 
how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they right, come up go. on third down. 19. 19. Third and three. Third and long for Young. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 35. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, Start loosening up. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Extra point now by Boswell. Boswell good with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, Detroit! right back out Detroit! there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. Oh, comes back to those defensive backs for the form of deep. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 33. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. No, 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 no. Don't just Patrick, ask for him. Patrick. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. A gain of three, second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Again, they run with Gurley. Gurley's got the first down of Edson. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Todd Gurley with touchdown number eight on the year. And the first turnover on defense leads to six points. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. 
Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Second down throw for Young. They'll drop it off to Piran, complete. And they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. The Falcons on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and four. Get this up only to about the 33. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. So many things going to making a good play on defense. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll... And this is caught inside the five. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Kevin White, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars continue to roll. Boswell for the extra point. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead will swell by one more. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. Pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair.
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. folded like a lawn chair they'll wind up losing three yards here and it's going to be third down and a ways to go here third and 14 four down, four down. Check, check. to throw young airing this one out for evans and he bats it away and it falls down incomplete this defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Well, this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But you know, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is. And I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game... How they've done it, offense, defense, special teams. They put it all together. And I got to tell you, I'm beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Gone, 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 gone. Allen now on first down. And his pass incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? Are the legs still there? This has been a tough game. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Stop cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third down and 12. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Throwing his Allen on third, and he fires one, but incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 18. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. To throw on second down is Young. 
Eluding the pressure right. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw, so maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. time to look up before he was planted in the backfield call that a loss of five yards on the play and it'll be a third and about 13. here's p ryan they find some open field here and they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts both for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point good by Goskowski. And that will cut this lead down to 25. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. <laughs> yes, get out of there. actually going to throw it here. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 up, all the way up, to the red go. zone now for first and 10. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. Here's Allen on first and 10. And incomplete. He dropped it in the end zone. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five. That's a whale of a game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Allen now. Throwing again. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle. I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. Boswell good with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead.
Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today, coaching, playing, the whole deal, and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now, problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. side here takes this up just short of the 30 but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle nice move he wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven a big offensive explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Jags, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they'll sink now to 0-4. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to L.A. to take on the Rams. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.